So what we got here is a couple of uh, very old, very dead batteries that my brother gave me that were out of a UPS, I believe. So it says PowerSonic model PS12120 12 volt, 12.0 amp hour. Um, from their weight, I'm guessing they're actually um, deep cycle, but I don't know. They're just out of a UPS. So this one right here. reading 0.64 volts, so that's pretty much dead. This one over here is reading 0.54 volts, also as dead as a doornail. And I have my little lights here. And as you can see, that's not lighting up at all. So on either one of these, literally as dead as a tornado. So I'm going to put these on uh, an SSG charger and see if I can bring them back to life. I'm going to do one of them on uh, the wheel charger. I'm going to just go ahead and put on my old old SSG and I'm going to do the other one on uh, a solid state charger which is going to be a little higher frequency. You can see it right here charging this battery. And we'll just see what happens. So more to follow. So I've heard it was a good idea to put a battery, a uh, very dead battery, on a regular charger just for a while before you put it on the SSG. And I put it on my old, my little truck transfer charger. And you can see it is not even trying to charge it. So I think probably what it is is it's got some sort of a voltage checker on there and it's saying, oh, I don't have enough uh, power from this battery to even try to start charging it. So, at any rate, that was so much for that idea. <laughs> I may try putting it on the power supply and just feeding it a little bit, just to bring it up a little bit before I put it on the, uh, the pulse charger, so we should see. So, I started charging my second little dead lead acid battery here. Uh, that's, yeah, I, I did the other one that I'm running on a solid state charger. This is the one I'm starting up now on my SSG. And um, when I put it on the charger, it had um, about 0.4 volts. Right now, I don't know you can't see that because my arm's in the road, but it's running between 10 and 11 volts. The really interesting thing, though, was when I put it on the SSG, um, I have the SSG running off a little power supply, and um, the, the neon light immediately lit up. Um, and basically, you know, like there wasn't a battery connected at all. So I turned the voltage down on the power supply to 6 volts. And as you can see, the wheel's turning. It's not going very fast. But it was 6 volts at the point where the, um, the neon stopped lighting up. Now, it's been running for probably a minute or two. And my guess is I can turn up the voltage now a little bit. Nope. So I turn it up to 8 volts, and you can see the neon starts to light up. Turn it down to 7.9. So, but the SSG is definitely uh, getting some pushback or more pushback um, effect than this this charger. This charger is a solid state. It goes a little higher frequency. Obviously, it's not as much powerful, but the neon never lit up at all um, on this charger when I put it on this super dead battery. And this one right here looks like it's going to take some coaxing before it uh, uh, will take the full voltage. So that's very interesting. It's showing 12, uh, 13, 12, 13 volts right now. Um, 12.8, 12.9, which is, you know, obviously it's it's nearly completely sulfated, so it won't. Uh, Now this one, this one's been on a full charge cycle on the solid state charger and it went up to 14 and a half. I took it off and let it sit. And when it was sitting, it went down to about four volts. Um, I tried to put a load on it, wouldn't even power a load. So I let it sit for basically a day, put it back on the charger. And now as you can see, it's reading probably can't read that. 17.6 is what that says. So it goes right up to about 17.6 uh, 
uh, volts is what it's reading on the terminals. And that's obviously just um, a false reading because it's very, very sulfated. So, at any rate, um, charging away. We'll see how it goes. If I can turn this one up a little bit more now. Oh, there it starts blinking at 8.8. .8. So we'll just keep working the voltage up until we get it to a normal run, and then we'll see how it, how it goes. Just wanted to do a quick update on those two batteries that I'm trying to rejuvenate. So there's one that's running on a solid state charger, and there's the other one which has been charged on an SSG. So uh, if you can read the numbers here, but uh, basically it started off at 0.47. Uh, it should have charge cycle on it, um, took it off, let it sit, and it's uh, settled down at about 4.7, 4.27 volts. I've had it on this is the SSG. I've had it on for a long time, um, from the 28th at 6 o'clock to the 1st at 8 or so. Um, and it's reading 12.97 right now after sitting for about a half an hour. So it's it's uh, doing way better. And this one over here, uh, I've been a couple um, cycles on it. It was at 0.64. The next time it started off at 3.3 is where it settled down. Took it up to 19 volts and took it off, let it sit for a little while. And then it went down to 6.45. And now it's been on for a long time. And both of these, I noticed, went up after like the first, uh, first time. Uh, after it been on for a little while, they started sailing up to about uh, 20, 21, 22 volts, and I just left them, left them run, and it, sure enough, it came back down um, below, you know, like 10, 11, and then just started going back up to, uh, well, it didn't go down that low, it's the lowest that I ever saw. It went down to about 12, and then started climbing up to 14.5, so this one, I, again, I took it off at uh, right at 14 volts this time because I had to charge something else about this one. I'm going to let it go until it goes all the way up to 14.5. But it's, so far it looks like it's bringing it back. We're going to put a load on this one here shortly, and that'll be sort of the, the tell-all because before, obviously I couldn't load anything on it. It wouldn't run, even when, when I charged it fully up to, you know, 14 or 15 volts, it still wouldn't take a load. So we'll see. So what you're looking at right there is a, a dead battery running a couple little lights. It's about a 330 milliamp load. It's been running for about five minutes. As you can see, it's nice and bright. Um, not sure how long it'll go, but uh, that was two cycles ago, completely, utterly dead, running at 0.4 volts or something. So, as you can see, it's definitely made some progress. So this is one last follow-up video on my desulfation uh, experiments. Um, so this battery right here is the one that was on the SSG, the wheel SSG. And uh, this right here is discharge um, cycles for it. And uh, the first time couldn't take a load. Second time it was like a one minute discharge. Third time uh, it was a six hour load. And uh, the next time after that was a nine hour load. And then the last, I just started another one right now. And um, it's been it's been running those lights at which is a 340 milliamp load since uh, 740, and it's now 11:03. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, about three hours. And as you can see, the voltage right now with the load is still at 13.03. When I started the load, the voltage was at 13.78, and at the end of the the um, charge run that, that this one was related to, the ending voltage was 15.49. Um, so this one, it's it's in really good shape after basically one, two, three, four, five, five charge cycles. Um, I did let it charge for quite a while while it was on these ones. Um, I started off on December 26th and it's now January 7th, so that's, uh, you know, almost two weeks that they've been on the charger in five runs. Um, but anyway, that one's looking really good. And then uh, this one over here, which has been doing on the solid state, had pretty much similar um, similar results. It had a unable to load first time. This where I ran it for a minute the first time and it was down too low, so I just put it back in the charger. Third 
uh, discharge, I got seven hours out of it before I took it off at about 12.9 volts or 12.09. And then the last one, it ran for 14 hours um, and ended up at 12.04 volts. So this one is also looking really good. And um, this one's been on, again, this was a solid state charger based on uh, resistors. Um, type of SSG circuit that I got from the Rick's designs. This one's been on the charger a little bit longer. The, the solid state tends to charge a little slower, but it's been on since December 25th. Um, and it just started a new charge cycle now on the 9th. So, uh, what can I say? It works. Um, these both types of chargers brought these batteries back. I mean, this, this one over here, what ran for 14 hours this last time, um, ended up at 12.04 under load and then settled in at 12.32 after running a 30, 340 milliamp load for 14 hours. And this is a this is a 12 uh, 12 amp hour battery. So figure that out. That's um, that's not a bad uh, result. At any rate, that's me signing off. Uh, 1302. Bright lights.